Superstorm Sandy caused enormous damage to New York in 2012. The federal government put up $50 billion in emergency relief funds, $5 billion of which was earmarked for preventive measures. The project The Dry Line was developed for Manhattan. Based on topography, the waterfront was divided into resiliency districts, which autonomously provide protection like float chambers in a ship's hull. This also allowed development of the project through a participatory process. In over 20 workshops, residents had the chance to say what they missed most in their neighborhoods. A basic idea of the project is that of social infrastructure. The flood protection system should also provide additional benefits. A 12-kilometer long bicycle path is now being created along the shoreline. Concrete elements form a high water barrier while doubling, depending on the form, as park benches, planters, seating at playing fields, bicycle shelters or skateboard ramps. Embankments provide additional green areas and dampen traffic noise. Areas beneath elevated roadways are being built out with pavilions for public use. In an emergency, the shutters can be closed and the structures serve as a floodwater barrier. The Big U project um, for the uh, redesign and, uh, and uh, really the protection of Lower Manhattan uh, is the recipient of the bronze uh, medal uh, because it obviously is dealing with a very important topic today which is that of the discussion or the issues around climate change and the topic of risk and resilience. How one really constructs new forms of resilience in our cities that um, are not again just pure forms of defensive infrastructure but that they also provide uh, new types of spaces, new um, opportunities for public participation and in this case uh, the proposal really creates a new um, series of, of uh, public spaces, um, parks, uh, spaces of promenade, spaces of activity, uh, which are on the one hand open to all the citizens. At the same time, it's been thought through carefully at a technical level so that it actually produces or creates local resilience in terms of many districts or many neighborhoods. So if there is flooding, for example, that it can be contained. So it takes into consideration a number of, of uh, technical ideas, but actually turns those into uh, the formation of, of uh, or the creation of a new infrastructure which is also uh, can act as a as a model for um, for development in other parts of the world, um, and in a way, it's uh, it's uh, it's a very good example of um, of utilizing infrastructure for um, the formation of uh, new types of public space.